despite the wealth of online information available about every aspect of the game, there is surprisingly no comprehensive guide on locating Moons. Existing guides only provide the same few locations and suggest the same method. Fast travel there, leave some baits, and you know the rest. Even though this method might be useful to some, many others find it unhelpful because it doesn't address the core issue, which is why it is so hard to find moose. But I digress. With many frustrated players looking for information on how to find moose, I decided to share my experience and create this guide to demystify the process of finding moose once and for all. Hi everyone, this is me again with another video guide series, this time about finding moose. This is the moose location map from the game's official guide, and we can see that there are about 16 spawn points on the map. But what if I tell you in reality there are 34 spawn points where you can find moose? Yes, you heard me right. There are 34 spawn points on the map where moose spawns naturally. By naturally, I mean that you don't need to use baits to spawn it, as long as you meet certain simple requirements. In this guide, I'm going to take you through every single one of these spawn points, showing you how to find and hunt this animal without using any baits. Before proceeding to the main videos, and at the expense of making this video long, I need to mention and clarify a few points, so please bear with me. In this guide, I may use the terms location and point interchangeably. To clarify, when I talk about location, I refer to general areas such as Lake Isabella, Lake Oangila, Cumberland Fall, and so on. And when I talk about points, I am referring to the spawn points in these locations. For example, there are three spawn points in Lake Isabella or there are two spawn points in Cumberland Falls, and so on. I'd refer to such spawn points as point A, point B, and point C. This is the introductory video to at least a 34-part series that I will be posting in the coming days. There may be more videos when I can confirm a few new spawn points that I wasn't aware of and seem to exist based on a few maps and posts I saw online. The first map I refer to is this map, made by an active community member called Sajuk6 and is posted on the Nexus mods. The spawn points I refer to are these two. Even though I have been to the general area of both locations and have hunted moose there, I have never seen any moose in these two particular spots. The second map, or rather post, I came across on Reddit is this one. The author shows nine different spots, eight of which most players are aware of. 
But the one spot I am interested in is this spot near Hanging Dog Ranch. Now I know there is a moose spawn point in the online version of the game here, but in the story mode? And finally is the map I came across in the GTA forums posted by a community member called Alko Mahol. What intrigues me about this map is the moose map icon next to Adler Ranch because it means that there is a moose spawn point around that area. I have looked at many maps but I haven't seen this particular map icon anywhere else. I reached out to the author to confirm the icon but I haven't received a reply from him yet. I've spent some time searching in the areas I mentioned, but I didn't find any moose. I believe the spawn points are accurate, but I need more time and information to confirm them before I can make any more videos. I don't doubt the accuracy of these spawn points, but I still need to learn more about them. Hopefully, with some effort, I can add these spawn points to the list of confirmed ones. Okay, let's move on. We are going to see that spawning moose is not a random event and does not happen by accident. It is a well thought out plan that took me a long time to figure out. I have spent weeks developing it and I'm glad with the outcome and I'm proud to say that to date I have successfully hunted and collected perfect pelts of 37 tree star moose from all 34 different spawn points. I owe this success to this method and I'm hoping by the end of this guide you can achieve the same thing. Not everyone is in the same stage of the game as I am. So, to make sure that this method works for everyone in different stages of the game, I downloaded and used three random game save files from the Nexus mods. One of these save files is a chapter 4, one a chapter 6, and the other one is an epilogue to game save. I use them in random locations and I'm happy to say my method worked in all cases. Surprisingly chapter 6 and the epilogue 2 files worked better than chapter 4 and my own chapter 2 files in most cases. So technically, no matter which stage of the game you are at, you should be able to follow this guide without any trouble. This is the backup of my saved files and you can see how my game progressed after I started chapter 2 till now. It might be helpful to those who want to start a new game. During the day, moose may spawn at different times in a given point. For example, here you can see John at the same spawn point at different times of the day. You can see that if you come here at 7, 8 or 9 o'clock or even later on in the day, moose would be here all the way to around 5 p.m. But you need to know that moose is spawned more consistently between the hours of 9 to 11 at this particular spot. That means if you come here at say 9 or 10 o'clock, it is very likely for you to see a moose. Whereas if you come here at say noon, the moose is far less likely to be here. The time that I show in my videos is the time that based on my experience, moose spawns the most consistently. 
this applies to other spawn points as well so please keep this in mind There are three different types of spawn points. Points in which both cow and bull moose spawn, indicated with green markers. Points in which only cow moose spawns, indicated with pink markers. And points in which only bull moose spawns, indicated with blue markers. So, if you are looking for a specific gender of moose, please keep this in mind. Moose hunting can be a bit dull. So, to make it more interesting, I decided to add some excitement to it by messing with the Pinkertons in the tall trees area and hunting all five of the moose that spawn there. If you have tried and found it challenging, when Arthur collected herb in New Austin in Chapter 2, you should try collecting three star moose pelts in the tall trees area. Finding, hunting, skinning and collecting the pelt of a three star moose while evading or being shot at by the Pinkertons is quite exhilarating. Hunting two of these five moose was the only way I could partly fulfill my personal goal of discovering all the map icons in chapter 2 of the game. For those who don't want to deal with the Pinkertons, there is a piece of good news. That is, not hunting in the tall trees area does not affect the hunting order. I have done my hunting in a particular order and you might want to ask if you must hunt in the same order. The answer to that question is yes and no. Yes, if you want to hunt many moose. In that case, following the order of the hunt is crucial. I don't know why, but after starting the hunt there will be times when the game stops spawning moose for some unknown reason. No matter where you go and no matter what you do. This happened to me several times. I was in a situation when I could not spawn a single moose anywhere, even though I was at the right place at the right time and was doing the right thing. It was like the moose had vanished from the game. But once I went back and changed the order of my hunting, the moose started spawning again. I will talk about this later on when we get to that point to clarify what I mean. Going back to answer the same question, you do not need to follow the order of this guide if you want to hunt just a few moose. After all, a player needs only three pristine pelts of any kind of moose for trapper and one moose antler for the upgrade in the camp. In this case, you can just go ahead to any location that you like and do your hunt. Please 
remember that there is a 72 to 96 in-game hours cooldown period between the hunts. And my suggestion is that during this period, avoid visiting your next hunting spot or doing anything major like getting into a gunfight or interacting with NPCs until you are ready for the hunt. There are exceptions to that in a couple of locations, which I will be explaining later on. It is possible to get a 3-star moose and the specific gender you are looking for, but there is no guarantee that you will achieve this on your first attempt. In most cases, it takes several reloads, so please be prepared for this outcome. What you will see is unfiltered and unedited. I will show the exact spawn location and how to get there, as well as the exact time of the day, so there would not be any confusion. I will also show the start of the hunt by saving the game and saving again when the hunt is completed. So you can see the length of the time it takes to complete the process. On average, the hunting process takes between 15 to 30 minutes in real life from start to finish. So consider this a fun challenge and not a chore. My all-time favorite weapon of choice for hunting is the bolt action rifle with express ammo, which is what I use throughout this entire guide. But if you don't have this rifle, any rifle with express ammo would do the job. I believe the spring rifle is available from the beginning of chapter 2. Bow with improved or poisoned arrow is also a viable option in most locations, but I don't recommend it. I never use cover scent lotion because I found it unnecessary. I love the challenge and see no reason to use mods or trainers to spawn moose or anything at all for that matter. The only mod I use for this video is more persistent weather. I used this mod because in a couple of areas the fog was so thick that I couldn't show properly what was happening. Keep in mind that this mod doesn't affect the moose spawn at all. I don't mind sharing the maps or the document I showed earlier, so if anyone needs a copy, please let me know by asking in the comments section. I'm always open to suggestions, advice and constructive criticism, so please feel free to share your opinion in the comments section. If I have missed a moose spawn point that you know of, Please let me know. It took me a long time to prepare this guide, and I must admit that even though at times it was tedious, I had lots of fun creating it. I hope that at least some of you find it useful and have as much fun following it. Creating these guides is my way of expressing gratitude and giving back to a community that helped me when I was new to this game. So, if you find this guide helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and like the videos. 
not because I want to be a YouTuber, but because it will help such content reach a wider audience. With that out of the way, hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hey, he's in there. Yep.